Okay, here we go. Uh, get into the standings and qualifying on the pole position is support gay bees with a 29-2. Outside of bees is Marshall with a 29-2. Uh, Health Insurance in third with a 29-3. Beefy in fourth with a 29-3. Knight Rider in fifth, 29-3. TD, 29-5 on the outside of him in sixth. Uh, scrolling back down here. On the inside in seventh is Alex Ridian with a 29-5. Outside of him is Aquatic with a 29-5 as well. Elite in ninth, inside with a 29-5. Uh, Star Fox 230 with a 29.6. Pin Pin there on the inside of the second last row as we give the command to start engines here. Pin Pin with a 29.6. Pokeder on the outside of him with a 29.7. Also with a 29.7. Firestar rocks. And in the shotgun position is our Bristol winner Sideswipe with a 29.9. Two tenths of a second behind Firestar rocks. Oof. There is, there is one thousandth of a second between me and BP. Yeah, quite a very competitive field we have here. As I had it on the wrong camera angle the whole time. <laughs> I guess that picked up the... I guess that wasn't too bad. It picked up the standings. Yeah, I was just looking at the standings while you were listing it off. Yeah, for sure. There we go. The car is going onto the back straight away. So I forget what year it was, but Darlington actually... You're seeing on the inside there... Let me go to spectator view. You see a second pit stall there. That's because, uh, I forget which year, but Darlington actually had its front and back straightaways flipped. But you still have that inside pull there. <laughs> Easy qualifier, says Bees. Hello. And here we go, rounding turn four slowly. Now, Marshall needs this after a great Daytona and a poor Bristol to stay competitive in the points. Outside of B's on the pole position. Health Insurance, your points leader in third. And here we go, we're going to the flag. And we're good to go racing B's on the inside. Everyone's getting strung out single file here. As I definitely don't fumble with music. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting pretty strung out here. Single file, we have a little bit of, I believe that's Firestar Rocks and TG side by side there in the back. single file now. And yeah, Bees has a pretty healthy car length uh, lead ahead here. Marshall trying to make a move on Beefy, but doesn't really see a way inside. I believe that was, yeah, we have a pass attempt here by Aquatic on the inside of Poketer, as I believe Poketer is going to drop down to 12th. Still in first place, Helton is in second. As Bees is now like four, three, four car lengths ahead now.
Okay, we're currently on lap six. B's in first place, Helton in second. How many laps is this one? This is, uh, this is 92 laps. That's a weird number. <laughs> well, it's 125 miles, and it's a mile and a third track. And looks like Marshall was able to pick the position away from Beefy, as we have a shuffle in the top five. Alex Ridian in fifth right now. So far, not a lot of passing happening right now. Everyone's biding their times. I believe the real mischief is going to start happening on the first pit cycle. Yeah, we'll have to see what everybody's pit strategies are. Yeah. Because I believe it's all over the place. Like we said, we got people who invested heavily into pit strategy, and we have people who invested heavily into on-track performance above all else. And Marshall's making a move for second on the inside. And Helton's left out to dry up high, and Beefy is going to get by two. Helton's going to drop to fourth. Knight Rider Ace charging ahead. Doesn't get under Alex, but Helton plows into turn two. As my laptop lies, and Helton is sinking like a rock here. Firestar rocks, pin pin pass him. TG looking on the inside now. I don't know if Helton has a problem or not. Our <laughs> I think leader. the problem is I think the problem is I got stuck out of the outside no and kidding. I've been stuck. <laughs> and everyone just sort of like nah, 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 coming through. Let's go back up the leader. Knight Rider Ace with a great pass on Alex. He's up to third now as he starts chasing down Beefy. I'll be happy if I can finish in the top five. That's what I'm aiming for. That's a very noble goal, for sure. Sorry, that's uh, Knight Rider Ace in fifth now. Here comes B's around. Yeah, it's just the it's the support gay B show right now as she's dominating the competition right now. Let's, uh, let's head to that battle between uh, Firestar Rocks is now on the outside. Looks like he's going to be... Okay, he's able to duck in ahead of Star Fox and slow the hemorrhaging, but Firestar Rocks fell down quite a few positions there. It's still Bees, followed by Marshall, followed by Beefy, Knight Rider Ace, Alex, Pin Pin, TG, and Helton. There's the nerve, he says. Yeah, they just patched it. So I believe, that I guess these are three cars to watch right now, and Bees is going into the pits. Now we have a lot of people going to the pits, actually. I believe that's, uh, that's Bees, that's Knight Rider Ace, that's Alex, that's TG. Uh, let's get this in picture in picture here. As our current leader, Marshall, stays out. As I do everything but highlight bees, there we go. There's our pole position leader on pit road right now. And Marshall is going to pit a lap after. Beefy's going to follow him in. So we have our current leader on the left side. We have our previous leader on the right who led going into the pits. And there we go. Alex Ridian with a good 
pit stop, and he's got to take second Knight Rider race close behind him. After that is Firestar Rocks and TG coming out of the pits. Pokater behind them. So we're going to keep this view on Bees, and we'll see if Marshall can race out of this pit stop, and we'll see who wins this pit as well, because health insurance... Also pitting. And Beefy and Marshall are out at like the same time. Bees is just at the start finish line here. So let's go to spectator view on the main screen here. There's Bees on the track up there and it looks like she's gonna breeze by Marshall and co. As uh, it's going to be Bees and Alex Ridian in first and second night passes Marshall to take third. Beefy slots in into fifth here. And we have completed our first round of pit stops. So there's the margin. There's Bees in first. Alex, Knights, Marshall, Beefy, Firestar Rocks, TG, Pin Pin, Health Insurance, Jeff, Elite, Bruce, and Sideswipe and Aquatic taking up the last two positions. And look at the lead Bees has. Look at that margin. Far and away the favorite right now. So currently, Bees is enjoying a 1.4 second lead. We are currently on lap 18 of 92. Here's the fight for the last position right now. Aquatic suffering from a crash out at Bristol last week. Is hoping for a good position here because Aquatic has been fairly decent. He's been in the higher mid pack in most of the races. For the Daytona race, I believe he finished sixth. And uh, for at least the first half, he was a favorite to win. He was doing really, really well. But just couldn't piece it together, unfortunately. And we've got a great battle here with the. First, the second, with the second and third and fourth and fifth here, we've got a big bunch up. Knight Rider Ace in third, who we're focusing on right now in front of him. Alex Ridian in second. Marshall has fallen to third and Beefy is licking his lips here, looking for an opportunity to pass. I feel like my grasp on third is very thin. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Knight's moving high to the outside, but Beefy's behind him. And Marshall is going to take third, maybe not. It's a drag race between the two of them. And oh, a bad yeah. entry into the corner and Beefy goes right on in. Let's, let's the door open and he's gonna fall to fifth place here. Yeah, I saw that coming. Bees is still very comfortably in first place. It looks like 6th and 7th are having a nice battle here. Let's see if I can't get that on display. Yeah, it's Pin Pin and TG going at it. And wow! <laughs> TG has a problem on entry. It looks like Knight there for a second. And Pin Pin goes blazing past. Holy smokes. Health Insurance and Firestar Rocks now battling at it. This fight is for 8th er, place, sorry. And Elite's in the back there looking on as Helton's looking for an opening. Oh, and we have an update on the battle for third place. Alex Ridian has fell, fallen all the way back to fifth. I guess he got shoved up to the high line and everyone just came through. 
And Pinpin's looking on there after his monster run against uh, against TG earlier. So Pinpin is moving up. I believe that's him in sixth place. In fact, Pinpin is still moving up right now as he gets on the inside of Alex. I don't know if Alex is having a problem or something, but Alex is losing positions like he's got a... I think he's got a cinder block tied to his foot right now as TG is looking to pass him next. We got Beefy trying to get second place. I believe this is second place away from Marshall. Yes, this is the battle for second place right now. Ritty and now in trouble of suffering even more positional losses as TG has now run his rear bumper. We'll see if TG tries to help out his fellow Pontiac enjoyer. Try to get some buddy drafting going here so he can get himself back in the race here because Alex is doing amazingly coming out of that pit but it looks like TG's looking on the inside doesn't find it. Bees is still enjoying a two and a half second lead right now. There's still no budging happening between the battle between Beefy and Marshall. And Alex and TG are going into the pits. Looks like the Pontiacs have a low pit strategy happening here. So we're gonna go picture in picture here. There's your leader, Bees. And Bees will pit. Let's see if the people behind him will pit. No, Marshall is staying out for a lap. So Marshall and Beefy are going to be your ones to watch right now. Bees is in the pits. So we've got a pretty big stagger here of uh, pit stops. And Alex is out of the pit with a blazing pit stop. He's going to get that position from TG back. And he's really out of the pits. A fantastic pit stop for the Carfax team. And Marshall is pitting. Uh, Beefy stayed out, it looks like. Very interesting. Alright, I have now hopelessly lost track of where everyone is, so... After everyone's done their pit stops, I will give you a report on the current positions and we'll go from there. <laughs> and out of the pits. There we go. So Bees is beaten out of the pits by Knight Rider Ace and Firestar Rocks. Polkadot looking on in the distance. So I believe Alex Ridian is going to... Is Alex Ridian in first right now then? With that amazing pit so. stop? Oh my god! I believe so. Out of, out of Fox! Alright, let me, let me go to, let me go to Fox view here while I take him. It says here Beefy is still in first place, so I believe he's still in the pits. As I believe that is, uh, currently in the pits is Helton Elite and Pin Pin. Everyone is all over the place. I don't know, I don't know how to follow this. <laughs> But yeah, it is currently saying Beefy is in first place. And there he is here. He's currently in the pit. So that's probably why it says he's in first place, because he didn't pit yet. Pin Pin has done his pit stop, and Beefy is going to pass health insurance. And Beefy's going to go on and get here. All right, it's still saying Beefy's in first place with the 24 car in second. That's Pin Pin in second. Which makes sense. They both pitted together. And now we have Beefy. Beefy has merged into traffic successfully and Bees is right behind him. Yes, it is currently saying that Alex Ridian is leading the race right now as Bees is looking on the inside of Beefy and passes him without a problem right now.
This race has now become completely and utterly strung out. <laughs> we have a pretty good group here building. TG leading Marshall, Knight Rider Ace, and Firestar Rocks. This Congo line consists of second on back to fifth place. There you go, there's the leader, Alex Ridian. I'm not sure, I'll have to look back on it. I don't know if Darlington is really a two-tire track. I'm not particularly aware of how bad the tire wear is for NASCAR Racing 2003 on this track. The battle for second here on the screen. Also happening elsewhere on the track as Knight Rider Ace goes on the inside of Marshall, looking to take third. Can Marshall get grip up there and power out back to second place? It looks like he's going to be able to. As Knight Rider Ace on the inside and Firestar Rocks is now strung out. And Firestar Rock is strung out hard as Bees passes him on the inside and now takes up sixth spot. This conga line is on the move as they are closing distance on the leader, uh, Alex Ridian, in the 21 Carfox car. What a very exciting race here as. The margin is closing on Alex Ridian right now. And we got a move. Bees! Bees is sent Knight Rider Ace high, and Knight is going to lose two positions about it, maybe three positions if Rox gets back in there. And there we go, we got a little bit of contact as Bees gives Marshall a bump and run and she is out of there as Beefy takes advantage as well. Bees has a mission right now and that is to get back into first place. Thank you very much where she belongs. As she gets on the inside of TG, Bees is making this look easy. As Beefy is just following Bees to victory now, Beefy moving up all the way to third place, following the bumper of that Pontiac Grand Prix. Marshall is looking on the inside of TG right now. Doesn't quite get it. TG ducks in front. We are currently on lap 37 of 92. And Bees is on the inside of Alex Ridian right now. And Bees will take control of the race for now, maybe? No, Alex is strung out high as Beefy runs Alex up even further. Alex is going to drop all the way to third place. It's the Bees and Beefy show right now as the two of them work together to get to the front of this pack. And Knight Rider Ace is hung out to dry as well. He loses a ton of positions as uh, Firestar Rocks gets under him. And it looks like we've sort of conglomerated into a single group right now. Pin Pin looking on the inside of Marshall gets him. Marshall is hung up to dry right now. And it looks like everyone is just taking turns <laughs> on the high side of the track, falling to the back. It's like watching a tank tread roll across the track right now as Marshall gets fully past there. B's definitely the one with the most laps led and Beefy is right behind her. Alex Ridian doing a fantastic job after an amazing pit stop. Led quite a few laps here, he's falling down to third as TG is the one now being thrust to the high side. Pin Pin passes, Marshall passes, Firestar Rocks passes, and I believe TG was able to stop the hemorrhaging, he was able to stop the bleeding, sorry, by getting in front of Firestar Rocks. Oh, it gets the position back from Rocks, his knight is now held high on the racetrack, Bruce getting around him. What an exciting race, holy smokes. What? As Pin Pin is now charged up the fourth place, Pin okay, no, sorry, I thought, we have, uh, we have more pits. Looks like Alex and TG on the same pit strategy right now. So we're going to go picture in picture right now as we have the Bees and Beefy show on the main screen and we have Alex Ridian, our previous 
race leader the last pit cycle or coming out of the pits the last cycle so we'll have him on the small we'll have him on the small screen sorry this battle for first between bees and beefy as they've completely broken away from the other pack and bees is going to pit allowing beefy to get a lap led There we go, Alex looking like he's got a much better pit stop than TG who's in front of him and Alex is off. Beefy is currently your leader. I'm gonna do my best job possible to keep track of where everyone is right now. So the next one on the pits is Bees. She's coming in. Definitely the favorite to win the event right now as she goes into that pole position pit stall. Beefy still has to pit. Let's look, Knight Rider Ace also in the same pits as Bees. Pokeder is just leaving the pits, I believe, right now. And Knight Rider Ace unable to pass Bees on the pit lane, but he's going to be out. And Beefy is in. Alex Ridian was the first one to pit in this pit cycle, so we'll keep him on the big screen right now as Beefy, who stayed out the longest right now, is in the pits. I think that's going to be, uh... I think we're going to pay attention to the first one in and the last one in. And I think that's going to allow us to keep track of where everyone is better with the, with the limited setup I have right now. And look at that. Look at that good... Look at the difference in pits right now. If you're wondering... If you're a league watcher right now thinking about how important pits are let's let's go let's expand out here look at that gap between tg and alex that's all pits that's not car stats that is a pit stop making that huge difference right there and beefy is out of the pits and pin pin is going to be right behind him and i believe beefy is going to miss alex ridian coming out so i believe once again with the exceptional pit crew at that Carfax team. As Bees gets on the inside of TG. Let me bring it up here. It's currently showing that Helton is... Or so, yeah, the 18 of Helton is currently in the lead along with Elite. I believe they still have to pit. So Helton getting a lap lead point there. Let me actually quickly find him right now. Yes, that is that is Elite and Helton pitting right now. Oh, they're leaving the pits right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. We fired our whole team and rehired actual professionals, says Alex Ridian in the chat right now. <laughs> but Alex better check his rearview mirrors and keep that pedal to the floor because behind him is support gay bees definitely the fa fastest Pontiac out there so yes it is showing Alex Ridian in first in second place support gay bees in third place is the 27 of TG in fourth place is the 69 of beefy So uh, we're going to go split screen here. So we have the battle for first place between Alex Ridian and Bees on the left side. On the right, we have the fourth place of Beefy catching up to TG really quickly here. And Bees is on the inside of Alex and she takes off like a rocket. Oh my god, see ya later, Fox Boy. Holy moly. <laughs> She's got to be somewhere. And Beefy on the inside of TG, he's going to take third place. So Alex Ridian, with his amazing pit stop so far, might actually be able to squeak out a win depending on how he has his pit strategy hooked up. He's by far 
perhaps got the best pit crew on the whole field right now. So if it comes to a quick gas and go pit stop, and Alex is able to lead the last few laps before the checkered, he might be able to pull this off as Beefy is currently closing the distance on him. Okay, we're going to focus on this battle for second place as Beefy gets on the inside of Alex. Alex falls to third place. Beefy in second. Trying to close the distance on Bees. Let's look right now. We have a nice race going here. I believe this is for 10th position right now. This is 10th through 12th. As health insurance, your current point leader is not having that great of a race, unfortunately. Bees is currently in the lead, 1.4 second lead. Alex is trailing them by 2.6 seconds. Already fallen that much since his lead off of pit road. And we have a move here by Marshall trying to get around Pin Pin. This is for fourth place. This is third, fourth, fifth here. Alex leading, Pin Pin leading Marshall as Pin Pin looks onto the inside, gets a better off on the corner, and is able to get on the inside of Alex. Will Marshall be able to take a position away from him as well? It doesn't look like it as Alex gives him a little bit of that left rear bumper, but Alex hits the outside wall, and that's all Marshall needs in order to zoom on the inside to third, uh, I believe that's fourth place. So yeah, Pin Pin doing amazingly well here. I believe this is the first race, so Pin Pin came dead last in the Daytona 125 race that started out our season. He had a blown piston, I believe, out with a mechanical issue. But he's doing amazing in this race as he's now moved up to third place. Firestar Rocks on the inside of TG takes the pass for seventh place. And look at who's caught up to the leader. It's the Beefy and B Show. Beefy right on that rear bumper of the leader. Beefy's having a tremendous race right now. I believe he's tied dead last for points. So even a second place vic or even a second place in this race here will skyrocket him up in the points. There's much needed points. And Bees is going into the pits. And TG's gone into the pits a lap earlier as well. We'll do split screen here. We'll have Bees in the small screen. Your current leader, Beefy, on the large one right now, going into turn one. And a huge distance between him and I believe that was Knight Rider Ace in second. No, that was not. That was Marshall. That did not look like a white car. <laughs> so there's TG on pit road. He's having a quite a long pit stop, if I do say so. Quickly looking on pit road here. Knight Rider Ace on the pit road. Marshall is coming in. We'll focus again on B's for now. I believe that's TG leaving the pits now. We're currently on lap 57 of 92, so we are well past the halfway point. And Beefy comes in. As Bees leaves, so I believe Bees is a lap and a half down right now. As there comes Alex Ridian. I don't know if Alex is pit or not. You, he pit. He usually pits with TG, and TG went in earlier. 
We'll switch screens here. Sorry about that. We'll see how Beefy's pit stop goes. And Beefy's out. We'll go full side by side here. Beefy. And there goes Bees right now. So it looks like Beefy is going to slot into third place right now. Health Insurance Elite and Bruce currently on pit road. Health Insurance again staying out the longest of anyone he's currently shown in first place as he goes to the pits. So let me actually focus here on who I believe is in first place right now. Support Gay Bees is going to put Bruce a lap down here, I think. Yes, it's currently showing in first place Support Gay Bees in second place is Alex Ridian in third place. Uh, it's Beefy, fourth place is Knight Rider Ace, fifth place is Pin Pin, and that's your top five. And while we have Bees set up here, I believe the one to watch right now is for sure going to be Beefy. Like, he's been, he's possibly the only one in the field right now who can actively catch up to bees, but I don't think he can pass her. Let's see if Alex Ridian can defend his second position from Beefy as he goes roaring off of the turn. And just like that, like nothing. Beefy's car, man. Alex Ridian just letting him go. Not really putting up a fight there. As Beefy takes off. We've got a fight here for fifth place between Firestar Rocks and Marshall. This is for your last top five spot as Marshall's looking on the inside of Firestar Rocks and he gets there a clean pass. Meanwhile, another fight, while that was happening, I believe Pin Pin just put the moves on Knight Rider Ace. Pin Pin moves up to fourth place. And Firestar Rocks is once again looking for a opportunity on Marshall. But again, it's something to do with Firestar Rocks' entries into the corners. He's giving up a ton of speed. Marshall's able to put it in harder and come out faster, and he's losing ground on him because of it. So here's Pin Pin. Pin Pin's moving up extremely quickly through the field right now. This is for second place right now on the inside of Alex Ridian. And Dominic will take second place. Or sorry, that's third place. Beefy's in second. But look, speaking of which, let's check up on Beefy here. And look at that margin between the leader, Bees, and Beefy. We're focusing on Beefy right now. That car in front is support. Gay Bees, your leader. We are currently on lap 65 of 92. And we got, unfortunately, Alex Ridian is losing even more positions. This choo-choo train led by Knight Rider Ace being followed by Marshall and Firestar Rocks. Alex is on the top of it and he's gonna lose all three of those positions. As I believe Marshall is going to try and find an opening on Knight Rider Ace as he moves up to fourth place.
And Beefy is catching up to bees! We'll keep, I'll keep tabs on this fight for first place right now as this fight for, I believe this is third on back. And to Beefy's out with an engine problem! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he was doing no! so well. No! Of all the people! No! 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 And my laptop DC'd! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my, no, dude! Of all the people, last in the points right now, he had a fantastic dodge to participate in this Darlington race, and that reliability stat that he kept at the minimum, man, in order to increase everything else. I don't know if he's going to make it around to the pits. No, he's pretty far off. He's pretty far off in the turn, unfortunately. As it looks like Firestar Rocks is putting the move on Marshall right now. Aquatic is now snuck up in this conversation. Beefy looks like he's going to be able to make it to the pits. What a heartbreak. As my laptop DCs again. You know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna change views here quickly. <laughs> That's all we have a bit of contact here. <laughs> Knight with some early breaking to get into the pits and Marshall sort of bumps him from behind, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm searching around here. Beefy has despawned. Beefy is out of the race. The cause is listed as a general engine failure. Yeah, I hate to see it. <laughs> Currently Unfortunate. A, we currently have a battle right now. Let me hide that shit. TG and Halt Insurance going at it. Did I sneak back up or did you fall back? Uh, let me let me try and see here. It doesn't update for a while. It looks like you're in 18th, and I'm out. I'm two laps down apparently. Wait, so what? I, I guess I Did haven't been having early? a good race. I might have. That would make sense. I am on a really early pit cycle. I was with an early pit cycle with Alex. There's Knight Rider Ace is leaving the pits with Firestar Rocks. I am extremely hot right now, by the way. This is <laughs> <laughs> casting. This has been working up my, uh, working me up something fierce. It's currently showing that Firestar Rocks is in the lead. No, that's not right. No, uh, Elite is currently in the lead with Helton Insurance. They're on the same pit cycle right now. Helton is entering the pits. So I believe the 39 of Bees and the 21 of Alex are currently first and second it's hard to say well i'll have to wait until after all these pit cycles are done let's actually go picture in picture here to the pits right now sideswipe who we haven't talked a lot about this race fortunately he's not having a great one leeton helps in pitting there's support gay bees Seeing Sideswipe is in... Yeah, no, there we go. See, Sideswipe's falling down now. Swap the pictures here. Yeah, the 39 of Bees, the 24 of Pin Pin, and the 21 of Alex are first, second, and third. So I believe this Firestar Rocks battle and Alex is for uh, third place. Let's take away picture in picture. Yeah, and Alex, a superb pit crew. Arguably the only reason Alex has been staying in this race is his phenomenal performance on pit lane, but once he gets out on the track, everyone is able to pass him like he's standing still, unfortunately. 
That could play into his strategy depending on how it's lined up. If he's got a pit with eight or so to go and he's able to lead those last seven laps, he might be able to squeak out a win here, but the problem is Beast is just too damn fast. So here's your leader, Support Gay Bees. Currently stuck behind the 23 car of Star Fox 230. TG is behind him. TG is being shown to be on the lead lap. Oh, he's one lap down now. Yeah, Pinpin Pin has been running a phenomenal race. Uh, every time we switch to Pinpin, Pin, he's passing somebody out there on the track. He's currently in second place, five and a half seconds down from B's. There we go, winner update in our battle for fourth. Knight Rider Ace has been passed by Firestar Rocks. Our lead engineer has been fired and replaced by our assistant pit director. So hopefully that'll do great. <laughs> so hopefully that team will find a lot of success in the next Martinsville, Martinsville race next week. <laughs> Some pit crew shakeups. Yeah, unfortunately, Pin Pin is not closing the gap on Bees. That gap has increased to almost six seconds right now. I don't think Bees is with Beefy out of the race with engine problems. I don't think anyone can stop her. Yeah, that margin currently at 5.8 seconds ahead. Nothing between her and victory here as we are currently on lap 79 of 92. 13 laps to go. We should still have at least one more pit cycle ahead of our competitors. And then it's going to be like putting a bunch of... Uh, putting bingo balls in the roller and shaking them all up and seeing who wins. Looking around here on battles to look at, but everyone is pretty well strung out. Elite just passed Pogator here, and that was for 7th, uh, 8th place, sorry. Yeah, everyone is sort of all strung out by himself. TG and Alex Ridian are in the pits right now. Let's go picture in picture for that. So this is one of Alex's only opportunities to get back in this race as I switch to a better camera angle that's not obscured by a giant box. And TG's off. Great pit stop for him. Hoping to get, <laughs> hoping to get a lap back from that. And Alex is out. So we'll check in with Alex and see where he's ended up in just a moment here. I'm quickly searching through. No one else is on the pit lane. Alex is just merging into traffic now. And it looks like no one else has stopped. TG just came in with him, but I believe everyone else still has to pit as we're on lap 82. 10 laps to go here as Bees crosses the line. Bees' lead has increased to six and a half seconds. Pokeder has entered the pits, and so has Bees. Okay, we have a race here. So we're going to focus back on Alex Ridian right now as he's passing Bees. We'll go split screen here. Your leader, Bees, in the pit. Alex Ridian, the first one to pit, who's on the lead lap. 
who was on the lead lap before pitting started, I should say. Pin Pin is behind Bees right now. Pin Pin is pitting with Bees, and Pin Pin can have an amazing pit stop here. He can close the gap and perhaps steal a victory from Bees as we only have uh, 11 laps to go. I believe eight, yeah, seven, seven laps to go. Sorry, math is hard. Marshall's in the pits, he's pulling out as Bees pulls in. Bees has to have an ace pit stop here. As I believe that is Alex Ridian on the right hand side. He's coming off a turn four really hot, almost scrapes the outside wall. And there's a caution! There's a caution! Where's the caution? There we go, the pace car is out. We have our first ever caution in the lead. Oh my god. <laughs> With we're gonna have oh my god. As Bees just roars around the pace car here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So that is huge where the caution came out. I'm, hold on, I'm gonna go search here and look for the cause of caution. If you two wanna entertain and fill time before then. Okay, so it's still green here. Uh, it's a caution lap. I don't know what to say. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I so could say caution... Although it did look like- my car. It did look like I was in the pits when the yes. caution went up. Oh no. Okay, so we do have the reason for caution. And Helen, you're not gonna enjoy this. Oh, boy. oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, going into the turn one, oh. your engine just explodes. Oh, okay. And that was enough to throw out the caution. I believe because Firestar Rocks was pitting and uh, there was a slow car in the way, so I guess the... I guess that meant that they had thrown the caution because he was in the way there. And Helton is our second person eliminated. Our current points leader is out. That's fine. My car wasn't running good anyway. Uh, it's listed here as a piston problem. So, man, this is insane. We're currently on lap 86 of 92. This race is going to end in a restart dash. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened if you were bees. Oh my god. So it's currently showing to me in first place right now. That doesn't make any sense. Apparently it's Elite showing in first place in 71. The 91 of Firestar Rock? Were they in the pits when the caution flag went out? <clears throat> no way. No. That can't be right. Okay, I think... It's correcting myself. We are going to restart this race with like two to go, by the way. What a wild ending. Okay, and here we go. I helped. <laughs> <laughs> so it's currently showing in first place to support Gay Bees, who is not at the front of the line. So yeah, that means... That means TG is one lap down. That means TG is technically two laps down. And because they were pitting during the yellow flag, Firestar Rocks, Alex Ridian, Marshall, and the 87 of Polkader are now essentially stuck down a lap and are out of the race. Oh no. What a terrible thing to happen. Oh no.
You hate to see a, a race end like this. But that means that one of two people is winning this race. Or who knows, actually. The 14 of Aquatic is in third place right now. If Aquatic gets an amazing restart here, he could take the whole thing away. Yeah, the first ever caution in the league. The lights are out on the pace car. We are one to go here. There is going to be three laps separating the winner and the loser of this race. This caution caused by Helton having an engine failure going into the pits while pit cycles were happening. I guess the marshals decided to throw a caution just to be safe. And that has trapped a lot of people down. The people trapped down a lap and unable to claim victory here. Firestar rocks. Alex Ridian, Marshall, Pokater, and TG are all kind of SOL right now. And that is just the nature of caution flags happen during the pit cycle. If you pit in and there's a caution, uh, you're swearing. If you have a longer pit strategy and you're staying out and you see that caution, you are praising the sun gods you worship every morning. Fans riding in the stands right now. Yeah, there's going to be graffiti sprayed all over Health Insurance's trailer right now. <laughs> Watch the beer cans. Watch the beer cans. And the pace car is in the final restart coming up here. Three laps. And green, 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 green. And we're off. We're all gonna, we're gonna heavily focus on my inability to get to this race between bees and Pin Pin, Bees is currently your leader. Everyone in front of her is currently technically a lap down. The moment she gets any passes here, they'll pack down. They're accordioning it up. Bees is looking on the inside. Pin Pin following her down. Aquatic, the 14 car in second place. Knight Rider Ace in fourth there. So Bees on backwards here is good gets underneath Pokater. Pinpin follows him but checks up and look at B's rocket there to the front Pinpin and Aquatic stuck in traffic alongside Alex Ridian and I believe that is Pokater. and B's is just hustle moving Remember that, there's two to go. And Bees is just pulling away right now. And there we go, the white flag being raised for support gay Bees, the final lap right now happening. There you go, Pin Pin and Firestar Rocks are having a battle right now. It looks like Firestar Rocks. Oh God, I don't know what happened. Why did my game just freeze up? What is happening? Oh, I paused the game. Sorry. <laughs> wrong hockey, wrong hockey. Wrong hockey as I believe Firestar Rocks just put the pass from Pin Pin to the line there. No, sorry, that was Aquatic. I believe Aquatic just took second place away from Pin Pin. Damn, what a race. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how I hit any hotkey there. That's one way to build tension. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, 
your winner, Support Gay B is unofficially. Let's go. Uh, let's go back in time here. The pass, Pin Pin in second, and Aquatic just gets under him. Sends him high. The game lags up for a moment, and then he's out. <laughs> and Pin Pin is un. And there's the there was the finish line right there. Aquatic just barely a nose ahead of a, or Aquatic just barely a nose ahead. Pin Pin, what a race! Your unofficial results. Support Gay Bees in first place. In second place, Aquatic, who's praising everybody he can meet for that yellow flag, allowing him to take second place away from Pin Pin, who will be finishing third. In fourth place is Knight Rider Ace. Let's go! In fifth place is the 71 of Elite, who basically who was in the back for pretty much the whole time. That caution flag allowed him to get a top five finish holy moly in it, sixth it was a it was a tactical caution i did that to help my teammates <laughs> <laughs> no kidding uh, i threw that wrench in my engine <laughs> yeah you just you just over revved it on purpose and blew one of the cylinders you, you don't have to go through inspection now um in sixth place sideswipe seventh is the 23 uh brain exe has stopped working of uh, bruce the, in 8th, the 05 of Marshall. In ninth, the 91 of Firestar Rocks. Very unfortunate there, Firestar Rocks was doing so well that whole time. And he pit early and got screwed by that caution. Everyone on back here is the screwed by caution gang who are currently going to get McFlurries right now to feel better for themselves. So that's Firestar Rocks in ninth, the 87 of Pokeder in 10th, the 21 of Alex Gradian in 11th, the 27 of TG in 12th, the 18 of health insurance, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, listed here as a, uh, what did it say? It was a piston problem? Piston, yeah. Yeah, and the 69 of beefy, what a tragedy. The first one out of the race with an engine problem after being the only person in the field who could remotely catch support gay bees under super hot rod Grand Prix. Holy smokes. And with that, I've been TG. I've been joined up by uh, Chrono Helton and uh, Knight Rider Ace. Thank you so much for vibing while I run this. This was an insanely intense race up until that last caution, I guess. <laughs> tactical <laughs> tactical <laughs> caution. Can I be honest? I lied. I would have been very displeased if I ended up in fifth or lower. Well, I'm glad you got exactly fourth then. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that's going to do us. Join us for race number four next week at Martinsville, the paperclip. Oh boy. Um, other important stream events happening um, tomorrow and Saturday is the Canada Day Kirby Speedrun Relay. Myself, Pro Hybrid, Nippo, Grandpa and Nippo are flying up from the States to Pro Hybrid's place, and along with Bees and myself, we are basically going to completely ruin Hybrid's house. Uh, most of it will be streamed on Pro Hybrid's uh, Twitch page, which I believe is just twitch.tv slash Pro Hybrid. So please, please, please tune into that if you can. It's going to be a riot. Um, I don't know what stream activities are happening officially on Friday, but Saturday is the big relay day. We are going to speed run back to back to back to back to back all the main series Kirby games, and we're mostly doing it live and in person. Also helping us out remotely will be Aiden and MK Cocoon, who will be running their games. Uh, the Canada Day Relay is a... We're in our fourth year of doing it, I believe. And this is the first year we're actually getting people to live. This might actually be the biggest Kirby Speedruns event. Like, alive and in person. That's not a GDQ. So please don't miss that Saturday at Pro Hybrid's Twitch chat. But uh, as for the Stock Car Roleplay Game League, that is going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, everyone, for per who do, who participate in this. Your stat sheets will be updated maybe after this weekend, depending on how busy I am. Who knows, maybe I'll stay up late and do that tonight so I don't have to worry about it so you guys can get right at your stats. And by that I mean I know you're just gonna wait till the last minute anyways. Well, uh, enough rambling. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>